So howdy folks, we are here at Vital Brains Farm in is it? Lake Mills, Iowa. Lake Mills, Iowa. Beautiful Lake Mills, Iowa, no less. And I'm fortunate to be here with Ben Peterson, and he's our recipient of the 2021 Strip Till Innovator Award. And uh, with the support of Montag Manufacturing and on behalf of Strip Till Farmer and the Strip Till National Strip Tillage Conference, I should say, I'm proud to award you as the 2021 Strip Till Innovator award winner. Thank so you. congratulations to you, Ben. Thank you very much, Julia. And I just wanted to ask you a few questions. Sure. Um, so if you don't mind to give us just a little bit of background, can you fill us in on you know what got you into strip tilling, how long you've been doing it, and what has it brought to your operation? Yeah, so uh, we've been strip tilling now for, uh, boy, I, it's going on 10 years. And um, it's brought to our operation so many things, better soil conservation, more efficiency. Along with that comes a better bottom line. Uh, yields have been steadily improving as a result of genetics and, and uh, just uh, everything else we're doing from planter technology to uh, strip tiller technology. Um, uh, we like the, traje tra the trajectory that it's put, all that's put us on, I guess. Uh -huh. Great, all right. And I know that uh, adopting strip till can be a bit of a challenge at first. Um, can you just talk a little bit about maybe some early signs that you were on the right path when you made the change? Yeah, so I think uh, first and foremost, it would be more of our marginal acres, uh, hillier, lower organic matter. Uh, they took a big jump in productivity, um, consistency across the hilltops and uh, even in the low ground it's, is where we saw our biggest gains. I think our best farms, we maintain yield and there's been a slight climb as time went on. Uh, so it's, it's nice to take that acre that maybe didn't cost as much when it was bought or didn't cost as much to rent and uh, make, it far, make it produce with some of the best farms that we have, which doesn't happen every year. Uh, but we've been seeing that more consistently be uh, more of a reality that uh, that does happen. Mm -hmm. Okay, good. And um, finally, I just want to ask, you have talked about techniques that you use on your farm that help make your operation more profitable, more uh, e environmentally friendly, and more um, sustainable. Can you just talk about those a bit? Yeah, so uh, just right in no particular order, controlled traffic. We feel that helps with water infiltration, not having wheel tracks everywhere in the field. Uh, may, being able to manage our compaction uh, where it pre predominantly is uh, using uh, different strip till attachments, different planter attachments, what have you. Uh, targeted fertilization uh, is where we're just simply trying to put on, uh, only the pounds of whatever it is we're applying, only enough to maximize crop yield and no more. So it doesn't leave our system. Uh, it would be the end game there. Um, um, also, we've, what we're doing is re using cover crops more and more uh, year in, year out to, um, it's really, it's, it's cover crops covers the spectrum of what they do. Uh, we do feel like we're getting a small bump in yield with, by using them. Uh, we're hel they're helping to suppress broadleaf, troublesome broadleaves like uh, uh, giant ragweed and water hemp uh, and holding our soil in place, of course. So um, that's also something we, um, um, it's the newest part of our operation, I would say. In the last three years, we really started using them heavy. Uh, after that, uh, we do have a dual hybrid planter. So we've been uh, trying to make that something that is, uh, adds efficiency for us by putting the right hybrid on the right acre, even within each field. And uh, there's a lot of work to be done on that. A lot of times the seed companies, uh, there's not a whole lot of dual hybrid planters out there. So not a whole lot of hybrids designed for dual hybrid planters. They've done a great job of make, giving us versatile hybrids that go, uh, go pretty much everywhere. So it's really the sum of all those systems that work together to make everything work. I wouldn't say just any one of them is the key to success in and, of its, uh, in and of itself. And we're always looking to add parts to the system that we can bolt on and make everything uh, work better, more economical, more efficient, um, more environmentally friendly. So um, 
what we've seen from our system and all of these uh, all of these strategies that play off each other and help to add efficiency in and of themselves work together uh, to make our system as resilient to weather and as consistent uh, in production as possible. And we're just, we have an eye, a continuous eye towards any way we can improve them. Awesome, okay, fantastic. Well, that's a little taste of more to come from Ben Peterson. And so once again, I'd like to just congratulate you, Ben, on being the 2021 Strip Till Innovator Award winner this year. So congratulations. Thank you, Julio.